The story without words has always been the most powerful to me. The look in someone's eyes that's telling a million things at once without uttering a single sound. I've said before that I write because of this irresistible urge, this itch that needs to be scratched. But it's also because I'm bored. Bored with the buildings, bored with jobs, with roads, with ice cream. It's nice to be wrapped up sometimes in feelings that consume. It makes things feel like it's not a dream. Oftentimes it, it does feel like a dream. Like, am I really here? I really like writing on The Remarkable, too, and I know I've talked about it a lot on here, but lately it's all I use. I thought I would miss paper and pen, honestly. Maybe more the pen part. There's something really serene about a pen and the ink and changing it out and feeling the, the wet ink glide across the page. Sometimes I think I like that more than actually writing. It's, I don't know, it has this calming effect. So I thought I would miss it. The Remarkable is, is tactile, but it's not that. It's not wet ink on paper. But now I find I don't really miss pen and paper. It's sort of that thing that maybe I was afraid to let go of because it's been with me for so long. I was reading some stuff on my computer recently for a few nights in a row and I felt incredibly fatigued and my eyes were dry. I'm currently starting chapter four of my novel, if that's what you want to call it. Um, it's basically uh, taking all of my stories I've written over the course of me writing and connecting them having them meet throughout my writing journey. I go through bouts of boredom with what I'm writing and then I just make up a new story with new characters and abandon the old one. So I thought, why not, why not have them all meet? And anyway, that's what I'm, I'm doing now. I'm currently penning out, I guess you could call it character sketches in the form of chapters. And it's interesting how most of my characters are more alike than I thought, and it's kind of easy to intertwine their lives. So when I started filming, I realized that my mic was nearly dead, so I went to charge it and then filmed some stuff. Uh, nothing really poignant. I guess more of a vlog, randomized clips loosely strung together to form some sort of vague story.